Hello everyone, happy to see you here and really interesting problem today. We need to simplify this. We have square root of square root of 9 minus minus square root of 8 and we need to simplify this, this expression. How can you do this? Take a look closely. A lot of students do this mistake. They subtract like 9 minus 8 and they say the answer is 1. A lot of students do this mistake. They think that right here we have square root of 9 minus square root of 8 which is equal to 1 and the main square root and we will have 1 as a result. But this is absolutely incorrect. And a lot of students ask me why, because we need to know a little bit about mass. Take a look closely. We have square root of this expression. Take a look. Square root of 9 equal to equal to 3. Yeah. So we have 3. And this square root of 8 I write the same. So minus square root of 8. Let's try to simplify this step by step and step by step. What about this 3? We cannot simplify this more. This is like a 3. This is our prime number. So we cannot write it in another way. What about square root of 8? How can we write it? We can write it as 2 times 4 and this is really good. So square root of 2 times 4. Okay, let's go next. If you know a little bit about uh, about property right here, if we have a square root of a product, so we can write it as a product of square roots. So as a result square root of 3 minus square root of 2 times square root of 4. And of course right here we know the square root of 4 which is equal to 2. So as a result square root of 3 minus 2 square root of 2. Okay, we have this this expression right now. Okay, let's go next. What about this expression? How can we see a formula right here? Take a look closely. We have 3. We can write this 3 as 2 plus 1. So 2 plus 1 and minus 2 square root of 2. This 3 and 2 plus 1. Yeah, nothing, nothing hard. Just write it in this way. Okay, let's go next. What about this expression 2 plus 1 minus 2 square root of 2 and a lot of students ask me right here we have like a better expression but right here we have a more complicated and then I answer them that right here we can easily write it this square this 2 as square root of 2 so square root of 2 square this is our 2 and this one we can write it in the same way so plus square root of 1 square and minus 2 square root of 2. And a lot of students ask me why I write this because we have more complicated, compl more complicated expression than than we had before. And under this expression, I write a really interesting formula. So we all know this a minus b, a minus b square. Yeah, this is equal to a square plus b square, and minus two ab. And then a lot of students say that, okay, this is our case, because take a look closely, we have a square plus b square. So for example, square root of 2, this is our a, and right here we have a square. For example, right here, square root of 1, this is our b, and right here we have b square. We have other 2 in this moment. We have square root of 2, and right here, square root of 2 square, so this is our a, but we don't have b. But b equal to square root of 1, so if we multiply by square root of 1, nothing changed for us. So this is our, this is our b. And this is our formula. As you can see, all equal sign. So this is the same as right here in the beginning. So as a result, square root of, and a formula, a minus b square. a equal to square root of 2 minus minus 1. Because square root of 1 equal to 1. And of course, square right here, equal to. And a lot of students do this mistake because they just cancel this square root sign and square root uh, right here, this square, and this is it looks like a correct, but you need to put absolute value brackets right here because you don't you don't know about this sign of this of this expression. For example, this expression is positive. Then this is really good. You just write square root of two minus one. This is the answer, and that's it. But right here we have square root of two minus one. What about square root of two minus one? We know that square root of two is approximately equal to one point four, I guess, and as a result, we will have like square root of two greater than square root of 1 or, or just 1 right here. So this is positive value. So as a result plus square root of 2 minus 1, which is equal to with the plus sign square root of 2 minus 1. And this is this is our other solution to this to this problem. So as you can see right here, really interesting moment, you just need to see a formula. If you see a formula, this is really great because then you just work with this with this formula. Cancel this square root sign and square and this is really good. But before before solving this like in a fast way, try to simplify this a little bit. So as you can see right here on, on in our mind the answer is 1, it looks like that. But right here if we simplify this, so square root of 9 
read here three, read here eight, simplify this step by step, and in this moment you can easily see a formula. So in this moment, this is maybe the key moment in this question. Over right here you can see the formula, and as a result, the final step, read right here you exactly see the formula, because this is our case. So thank you so much for watching. If you still have any question, write a question in the comment, and thank you for your support. See you in the next videos. Have a great day.